Slide on the sheet. Can you talk to me about that? Yes. I'll also give you a lot of insights into my mind. Firstly, uh, my name is Winnie. I'm going to go in English so that um, Dave can understand as well. Thank you for being interested in our public meeting. And we thank you sincerely for coming today. Initially, we never actually had the intention to actually held a public meeting. As you can see on the screen, I actually sent an email to have a face-to-face -face meeting on the 20th of June so that we can solve this issue openly, transparently, face to face, but obviously the other parties decline. So the main reason that we have to call today's meeting is on the social media, um, deriding things, degrading things, um, false information that's also damaging our image, our integrity. Those who have known us for many years, you all know how we are. We don't need to say much more into that. So because of that, we have to do a public meeting to let you all know exactly what happened from day one and until now. Before we actually do this meeting, we had consult uh, with our lawyers and other people in the community for their advice. I will be briefly explaining how all it started. Uh, so we'll probably be about an hour, I'll try to be quick so that we don't waste uh, all our weekend times. And later on, we've got a, a feedback and questions on your, in front of you, on the desk. So feel free to write anything. Whatever we can answer in our capacity, we will answer them. All right, so let's start. So how it all started. So we actually have two associations. One is called Burmese Welfare Association of Victoria. That's for Victoria, Burmese in Victoria. And the other one is a support from you are from Australia and Singapore. And both of them has an ABN number and both the ABN listed holders are myself, Wewe, Dr. Yuchi, and the other person. So we are legally involved in that regardless whether you like it or not. And of course the Burmese Welfare Association, Association of Victoria has the ACNC which means that they can get the grant from the government. And as you can see, both associations are established at the same time when we were doing the ABN. And the bank, bank account were created on the same day as well, with West Bank at the head office in Collins Street. And all the relevant documents has been processed through with West Bank corporate team before we were going to the bank for initial meeting to open the account, which was we, myself, and the other person were supposed to go to the bank. But because of my work, I couldn't go that day. Um, I know most of you know that I work for the airline, so my schedules are all upside down. And me being working directly for the airline last year, it was very hard for me to get off work. So we agreed that, okay, I will put my name in later. So we ended up going with him to the bank. And she got papers signed. She didn't read. She just signed. And the way signed here, yeah, signed there, signed there. She signed. She didn't read. Because you do the community work, you trust each other. And then later down the track, um, we trying to set up appointment to put my name in. I couldn't go because I had a COVID, and the next time that person child was sick, so it didn't happen. So how these two organizations started? It's mainly because of what happened in Myanmar on the 1st of February 2021. We had the very first protest in Melbourne in front of Parliament House on the 2nd of February. Um, after that, followed by, we had another, a few more, um, quite a few protests actually. But then there was one particular one that we were doing at Federation Square on the 6th of February. 
So for that, we were involved with uh, anti myanmar dictatorship movement, Melbourne Group, which is led by Kosovo. Um, so in order to do crowd protests in, uh, at Federation Square during the middle of COVID, we were advised that we need to have uh, people to monitor the crowd to make sure that they have a social distancing and all these COVID rules. So I asked a friend of my family friend to ask him, hey, can you get me some guys to help me on the day? That's how I got to know that particular person. Before that, I don't even know who he is or he was never involved in any of our community. So on the first week of February, we wanted to collect money. So I asked Kosome, I said, I want to collect money and we should. And he goes, okay, in that case, um, I know there's another girl, Sue. By the way, I've got their consent to use their name in the meeting. So Sue also wants to collect. So Sue has been sending money back to Burma since the 2nd of um, Feb. She's actually a, a, a medical a nurse from Singapore, she moved recently here. So we ended up meeting up together and then planned out how we're going to do this. And then right after, on the 6th of Feb, the protest at the Federations where we went to Commonwealth Bank to have a joint account to collect the money. Okay, so the joint account is open. So what are we going to do? We need a, a, a Facebook page in order to notify people to spread um, the news so that people can donate to our account. That's how the support for, the initial name is support for CDN Myanmar from Australia and Singapore. The main reason we had to put Singapore that time was because during those initial days, they couldn't collect money in Singapore because of uh, military control over Singapore government or how they have relationship. Um, so a lot of Sue friends from Singapore wants to donate as well. So we said, okay, you guys can donate to our account as well. That's how the Singapore was putting it into the Facebook page name. So the page was actually created on the um, 8th of February, 2021. On the 9th, Sue become admin, and I become admin on the 10th, and then we add Kosovo in later on. And then that particular person, we added him as well on the 15th. Um, you should be able to see on this slide when it was created and when it was added. And down the track, we changed the name from support for CDM Nima to support for Nima because um, after a couple of months later, there was much more other things involved rather than CDM alone. So on this screen, what I'm showing you is that myself, you, you, that we are actually under the Kind Heart Foundation ABN from day one. Not just the Kind Heart, for the Burmese welfare as well. So we had a, um, after the account was created, we had a gala dinner in Springville with Kusome Group. So after the gala dinner, Sui decided that she wanted to leave. Um, due to a couple of factors that happened the night, and she repeatedly reminded me, Ma, you should also leave. I never listened to her, because I'm only interested in looking for money or raising funds, so I'm not really thinking about anything else or looking at uh, a certain issue from a different angle, and that was my mistake. So since we created the page from February until May, 2022. So we had a joint account from February until April. So after Sui left, we have to close the account. So right after the account was closed, we didn't have the official ABN account because the ABN account was only created last year. And we asked who wants to collect the money, who wants to put their hands. So I put my hands up. So I was actually using my personal account, my offset account, my mortgage account, and mingling the three for over a year to collect the money for that group. Um, so down the track when we are doing a lot of things,
Myself and Wu Wei actively involved in all the fundraising. Not only us, even whoever is doing Wu Wei and you used to go every single event, especially on the first year. And that particular person used to tag along. And he got introduced to a lot of our community because no one knew who he was. And um, that's fine. Things were getting good. He is a good person. He can do a lot of things. He can, well, he knows how to do things. And she always used to praise a lot about him. <laughs> and then, end of last year, um, the intention that we originally had on how we were going to do things with regards to support for Myanmar becomes slightly different. So I started saying, I said, if you're going to have, this is not a short battle now, it's a long battle. So I said, we need to have a plan. We can't just keep um, taking all the fundraising or all the campaigns that each and everyone is doing. Um, we need to set a target and we need to work on that. And also sometime last year, he actually ended up going to Singapore and he created a bit of a mess because that particular group called me and said, the guy from your group didn't uh, actually communicate with us or didn't even say anything and went to Singapore and start talking about these things and I don't know what exactly happened but I got a call and asked him to solve the issue. So we ended up having a couple of meetings with that group. Um, I'm sure most, most of you know that they call the group called Mama, Mama Nyane Karagwe or something like that. It's, it's based in Bangkok. So we had a couple of meetings trying to sort it out. So when I actually confronted him what exactly happened, he never said any of these issues that happened in Singapore. And he simply told me, don't worry about it, just block those people. I said, you can't do that. You need to actually sit down and talk to them what exactly happened. You can't just say, forget about it or block these people. That's not how it works. Because they are also doing their part, so are we. So when we had a um, um, support for Myanmar, when we opened the bank account, we didn't want to use the support for Myanmar because it doesn't sound nice to have a bank account to have an ABN name as that. So we ended up going as a kind heart. That name was chosen within us as well, just so you know. We didn't know all the intention that the regular person was having until three months ago. I mean, I must say I'm pretty silly or dumb because I never looked at him from that angle, so I never knew how it was. How it all started, we actually had a first AGM meeting for Burmese Welfare Association of Victoria on the 2nd of June, which was well and truly overdue because of COVID. So when he sent out the AGM meeting invite, I wasn't in the list. First of all, I'm the first, one of the first three that actually established these two groups. And my name wasn't even invited. And later on I found out there was already a meeting in the progress organizing for it. So I actually messaged him, I said, how come my name is not in there? And then he goes, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot I'm doing a thousand and one thing. I'm sure you all know when you send an email for an important event, you will make sure you put the main people that are actually involved in the group. Am I right? Absolutely. So I didn't get it, and later on he added me. <coughs> That's fine. So when we had a meeting, I actually told everyone I don't have any intention of leaving, especially now I actually left Burmese work, uh, I actually left the airport work, so I'll be free from the weekend, I'll be able to do more things. As soon as I said that, that particular person and his wife, they couldn't even pretend their faces changed straight away. Until then, it still didn't click me, yeah? I, I, it just, just, it just doesn't register to me. So that's fine, it carried on. And then it got to 18th of, um, after that meeting, I spoke to Wei. I said, Wei, technically I'm supposed to be treasurer for the, for the group, but my name has never been put in the bank account, and I don't know what's going on in and out of the account. And I'm very transparent when it comes to money. Um, Kutai was involved before as well, right? A 
อันนี้ยังคุณโซมินุเนโนฟาคุณโซมินุฟาโอเคเดี๋ยวนี้ but I always คุณตาอูฟาคุณตาอูเย่ตาอูตาอู so I used to share everything even my bank account cash I used to open like put it on the desk and share with everyone so I told her I've got no idea and then she goes to me Oh, I've got logged in, and it happened to be she was at my house, so she logged in, and I had a look at the transition. I asked questions, she couldn't answer, and then she goes, "In that case, we need to put you back in the account because when I ask questions, she doesn't know she got um, a little worried." So we went to the bank, and the bank was like, "If you want to put your name, you need to have that particular person." With you to be able to do that, and you need to have a meeting minutes. So we met him on Don San Su Ji's birthday on the 18th of uh, June this year. So we asked him, "Can you uh, give us a meeting minutes because we need to put money back in the account?" And he goes, "I don't have time. I will do it when I get time." Um, It's over two weeks. Generally, if you have a meeting, if you have a meeting, you need to give meeting minutes within two weeks. So we were like, okay. And then the next day, he called me and asked, "Can you approve this transaction to uh, transfer the money for C R P H?" And we goes, "If you're not going to put Winnie's name in the account, I'm not going to be authorizing any funds." Straight away, what happened? He suspended way of kind heart account without anyone concerned, and that week we ended up going with Mami Nite to West Bank Bank to find out what exactly happened, and the bank couldn't retrieve that account under Wei's personal client ID at all. And it, they spent about an hour, and the bank said it's definitely not from us. It's definitely from somebody else in your group. So technically, at that point, only we and that particular person was in the bank account. Amat, can you tell me exactly what happened on the bank when you actually went to the bank? Do you want to come? Yeah. Yeah. ไม่รู้ครับพี่คุณยังเอาเลยเจ็ดเช็คเลยดีแล้วไอ้เช็คเลยเจ็ดเจ็ดมาอ่ะมารู้ไม่เมื่อไหร่ที่เราสาวเล
to that particular person. And he never distributed to any of us. And then, down the track, we also found out that he actually started a website with Kind Heart Foundation and put himself as a chairman and his wife as a director. When we actually started Kind Heart or Support Numa, we never actually had the intention of having a foundation. All we want to do was raise money for Burma. <coughs> when the time comes, everything is good. Yes, we can keep the bank account if we want to raise any occasional fundraising for Burma. But we never had intention to open a foundation. Especially when you are raising money for revolution. You don't want to use that excuse and that credibility and put it under a foundation. That's not how it works. If you want to have a foundation, generally, whoever starts the foundation, that particular person needs to put a chunk of money to establish. Am I right, Dave? Right? You can't just have a foundation created depending on the other activities and put yourself as a chairman. And especially when we are still in the group, under the ABM, still doing our work, we didn't even know. So later down the track, what I also found out was, after I said that I'm not going to be going anywhere, I'll be doing more work at the AGM, on the 3rd of July, he actually created a page with no follower. That's, he made it as a paid Facebook page. So when you have a paid Facebook page, you can actually sponsor any other page. So he simply put support Yama because at that point, myself and him is the administrator for the support Yama. He can't kick me out because I was the second person to be um, admin for the page and he came later on. So in order to get rid of me, he did this as a pay page. On the 3rd, he created that. On the 8th, I got a message saying that he wants to remove me from the page and I declined it. But down the track, sometime in August, he removed me off the page. Not only did he remove me off both the Facebook pages, blocked me as well. Why? It's a community page. If you want to have the page, have a civil manner, talk like an adult, come face to face. Don't do these sort of things behind my back. That's not the right way to do it. For me, it's not the right way. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah, absolutely. We have supported him in everything, whatever he's doing. Especially we. I'm sure all of you know, we used to compliment so much about it. And I never, I'm, I'm the sort of person, I'm quite open. If I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't pretend or bother of people. I don't do that sort of thing. But a lot of things that he has done, if I really go back and think about it, I didn't realize he's got all these agendas behind our back. I mean, fair enough. He wants to do it his own way. He wants to manage both. But be adult, sit face to face, talk with each other, put what you want on the table, put what I want on the table, and discuss. That's how a normal people will do, or that's how a mature person will do. Yeah. Not like going on Facebook and talking about us indirectly, or doing a live video. Oh, sorry, I want to ask, is there any wind tonight? No, oh, yeah, you can hear me, right? <laughs> Um, <laughs> the main thing that I want to say is what he said was I never contact or I don't have commitment. If I don't have a commitment when we started these two groups on the initial stage the first year, we wouldn't be able to survive if I'm not commit committed. Sure. Yes, people, when you do a charity work, no one should be forcing anybody to do 
You do it because it's in your capability. You do it because you want to do it. You can't tell somebody, hey, I'm doing $20 and you're doing five cents. That's not how it works. You can't force someone to do a charity work. And you can't just keep saying, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. There is, there is um, a bit blur in that area. You're doing a lot of things, but if you don't invite, if you don't email other person when you do an activity or a project, that's not how you're doing it as a team work. Especially if you're going to do something and you just, you know, tap on your next door neighbor, hey, I'm going to do this. That's not how it works. If you want to have a project, you want to do something, be transparent, send email to each and everyone in the team. Not just that a few people that you want to work with. That's not how our organization works. That's what I had to deal with. So he said, I couldn't go to the bank, yada yada, I'm not committed, you know, I wasn't picking up his phone call, blah blah blah. I'm not sure if, if any of you do ship work, you will understand. Um, I work for airline. We had three flights a day. It was 24-7 roster. And I always get a dead end because we only have five people in the office. When we are having all these issues, sometime down, down the line, he goes, from my understanding, him doing these sort of things telling me that whatever you do or whatever regulations or whatever policy you have, I can do whatever I want. He said, I didn't go to the bank and so and so. Down the track, one of the girls who is in Burmese Welfare Association of Victoria, she's not even the official member, straight away he put her on Burmese Welfare Bank account through online didn't even need to go to the bank. Whereas I got postponed for a year saying that I didn't go for the bank appointment and all when he could easily do it straight through online. Mm. You tell me, why shouldn't I complain about it? This is not acceptable for me. Mm. And especially that particular person wasn't even the official member and he straight away put it as a treasurer and approved himself. We didn't even need to approve her, even though she is as a signatory in the account. So that's fine. And then later down the track, that was the initial. My name, treasurer, during all these commotions happening, he changed Winnie down the bottom. Yeah? And then he even removed Nimi Winnie. I just noticed today, actually. So your name is not even there at that point. So that this is sometime in July. So how can we remove a president without having a formal meeting mm. with the board or the members? Mm. That clearly shows he's doing whatever he wants with either of the group. I'm sorry, we don't live in Burma. We live in Australia and we have rules and regulations that we have to follow. You can't just get up and do a lot of things. So for that, we actually went to the lawyer as well. So before we went to the lawyer, we went to the bank. Because you, myself and we, we went to West Bank Bank on the 14th of July. We told the bank all the issues that happened and straight away the lady at the bank was like, you need to get a lawyer. This is not right. And then on the spot she goes, your name, that person's name, Wei's name, were in the banking list for both the accounts when you initially created the account. I'm not actively as a signatory or account administrator, but I am there. My paperwork are all clear from day one. <clears throat> she said, if you want, I can put your name on both the group. You just have to sign. Because I was already as the initial person for the banking. So I said, okay, no, I don't want to be in Kanta, but have, well, uh, put me on Burmese Welfare. So we signed, and she put my name in Burmese Welfare. And on the 24th of July, 
We both got suspended from Burmese welfare without the meeting or without the board meeting or member's decision done by him himself. And then down the track again. <laughs> So while these were happening, he suspended the Burmese Welfare website as well. On the 29th of July, a few days before actually, he sent an email so to have a catch-up meeting, <coughs> right? It's called catch-up. Catch up, not tomato, huh? Mm -hmm. Just catching up and talking. That's okay. We went. And guess what? As soon as we went there, so before I get onto that part, I also want to say something else. It's in regards to our board members in the Burmese Welfare Organization. Um, Manyomi is one of the board members initially. She didn't even know she got removed from the group as a board member without notice, without meeting, without anything informed to her. So on the day when we went to have a catch-up meeting on the 29th, Yomi had work, she couldn't go, so she said, oh, Uncle David and it's okay, could you go on behalf of me? So they came along. And we also wanted to come to the meeting as an observer because she knows all the issues that were happening and she wants to know things clearly. We or you? Oh, sorry, you. Yeah, you. Uh, you both are doing one anyway. <laughs> so you want to come, so you and Michael come along. And then as soon as we got to there, there was a security guard asking, Show me your ID. I said, what for? I didn't come to the court case. I actually come for my own community meeting, board meeting, with uh, all the uh, leading people in the community. I didn't, I'm not going to nightclub that I have to show my ID. So he asked for ID. There was a security guard. And then, you want to talk? You? Come on, come here, come here, come, come on up. Come on up. Because I want you to talk as an outsider because you were the one who actually faced it and you were not happy about it, so. Uh, when I went in there and then he asked me to sign the authority form, a consent form. I said, for what? I said, I haven't got, no one had authority over me. I don't want to sign the consent form. What was the consent for this? I won't talk in this meeting. I actually went to the meeting for support for the board group, both side, to negotiate being a Kissinger. But he said, sign authority form and I will be outside and sit and listen, not to talk. I said, no. I only signed the consent form when I went for the operation because it is for my health. So I don't sign the consent form. I was very upset. That's all. Thank you. So he tried to get us to sign a consent form. So one of the board of directors was like, no, a board members doesn't need to sign a consent form. And then they recorded the video. Yes, we agree for the video to be recorded during the meeting. And then later on, I asked for a copy of the video. And then he goes, no, we can't give the video because if the public sees, that's not good. We can't give up. But if you've got nothing to worry, why can't the public know about the meeting? It's a community meeting. Everything should be transparent. There's nothing to hide. The reason I'm doing today is I've got nothing to hide and I'm quite happy to open everything up and let people know what is going on. So when I asked for the video, he declined to give the video to a copy to us. I, I think even Uncle David asked for it. Yeah. So same thing, he didn't give it. So yeah, and then 
After that, we went to the um, lawyer, and our lawyer actually said a lot of things. Whatever I was explaining to you, it's not right. I'm sure the people who actually are involved in we actually went to a specialized non non not for profit lawyer, so they know inside out of how the organization should work uh, in a in a charity group. So they said they're gonna send a letter to West Bank and they're gonna freeze that account. That's decided by our lawyer. Because according to all the information that we have given, they've got zero trust on that person. And they think that should be investigated. That's how the bank account was frozen for a week. Mm. Not because we want to go against Tohaye or revolution. Sure. That's not how we are. We started this group. There is nothing that we will do to jeopardize our revolution. But there is also things that needs to be corrected. That's why we have to take that far. Never do I have to imagine I will have to have this talk with all of you. I mean, I do it because I have fun doing it and I want to help people. I mean, most of you, whoever knows me knows I'm a happy go lucky. I'm always smiling, laughing. If I'm cooking and eating and going around and singing, that's all matters to me. I don't care about being in a group or having a position. That does not define who I am. Right? So that's how it all started. Now I'll get way to talk a bit. Uh, from her point of view. Um, anyway, do you want to say something about your or show on the BBC on behalf of you? Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk? Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Um, so I just actually want to say just a couple of words, uh, especially in English. Uh, won't take that long. Uh, First of all, I'm extremely, extremely disappointed with what, what's happening. Um, extremely embarrassed because I, uh, yeah, a couple of months back I was actually invited uh, on behalf of Yumi. She's actually uh, issued me with a proxy letter. Um, so my way and Winnie invited me to this catch-up meeting for this particular afternoon. So, definition of catch up is for me is quite casual. There's only a handful of people we, I suppose, we can just uh, just rock up. But the way I see it is, it's more like interrogation. It reminds me of the days back in Burma, the communist days. This is how I felt. Um, it's, I was very ashamed and. As soon as you walk in, they ask for an ID. It's only four people, myself, Winnie, Maui, and my wife. And the aggression that they have used is very, very ordinary, if you ask me. And the irony is we're having these events on a monthly basis. Remember like last year, year before, you have two or three hundred people turn up for these demonstrations. I have not seen not one security guards. Yes, I mean, you, all I could say is that there's, there must be some spies or something within the crowd. Where is the security guard? But this guy intentionally just wanted to show his power. It's a completely abuse of power. Just really trying to intimidate us. Then what's going through my head that time is if Myself and my wife didn't turn up that day. Just saying, just supposing, they will walk all over my way. They will walk over them. So there's a lot of things happening in our community has gone unnoticed. Now I know how these people operate. It's very, very ordinary. There's not one bit of leadership. Sorry, Pete, go on. Sorry, I just ask a question. Is there any suggestion that is uh, fiddling with the accounts? Sorry? Is there any suggestion that he is fiddling the counts? I think, yeah, I suppose uh, Winnie will be vouched for that. I'm only talking on behalf of, from the personal level. Yep. 
So this is all still not nothing to do with personal. This is the my experience. Supposing if Naomi is turned up that day, this is how she's going to be feeling. Yeah. Okay? So he is utterly mistreating everyone unlawfully. I think we will then treat it as double standards. Okay, it's like completely his way or highway. It's unacceptable in any means. This is more like the, the good old days. They do this sort of stuff in Burma. In Australia, I think it's unacceptable. Okay, so I, I was just talking on behalf of Naomi. If she would be there that day, she would feel the same. And this is this is what's happening. And I'm extremely ashamed. And the other irony is we do have other board members in the Zoom that day, I can't remember whose name what, and they're just like sitting duck, sitting on the fence, not doing anything. That is for me is extremely shameful. This is what's happening in our community. It's like the good old days, my way and when he's getting bullied, humiliated, victimized, everybody just watching, doing nothing about it. This is something that we need to sort it out. Yes, I know that our common causes, we want to try to alleviate this crisis we have in Burma. The irony is, locally we have to protect these people. Online, the amount of these words they've been using, sarcasm, from the leadership, so-called they want to be leader. They're using these words as, it's, it's below, I can't even express it. How can someone want to be a leader using these sarcasm words, extremely childish words online, and try to defame and victimise other people? It's unacceptable. Okay, thank you, Winnie. I, I can go on forever, but I want, I'll just keep it short. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Um Now I'll get into a way to um, speak on her experience. Anyone? And everyone in our community knows she helps each and everyone, whatever group, whoever is doing fundraising, not just during one military coup happened, even way before. And you all know that. And she's got a big heart to help anyone in, in any need. And now that's how she's getting treated. I mean, I can easily just dust off and walk off. For me, it's no, it doesn't matter to me. But I don't want to, because I want to stand on the right side. And also by today, a lot of people know this meeting is happening. And I really truly appreciate all of you for coming from the bottom of my heart for, or trying to hear out what the real facts are. Because a lot of people are not. Because we know you are not only, you are not only, you are not only, you are not only, you ทอดเปียโกลุยยงเบจาบ่เตลาเจตนาเรามาบาจิงมามาปายเปียวงาทีมอ่ะไอ้ดอมมาทาดาเออเออตูเดย์ก็อะไรอีกสมมุติเออโ
to the community. So, well, I feel very, uh, by myself, I feel very, very sad that he had been used me, abused me all the years because I am very much concerned about Burma. I love Burmese Burm people. So the fundraising thing, he said, we have to do fundraising after fundraising. So Andy, just leave the meetings and this and that. So he didn't even call any meeting and he just emphasizes more so, oh, this is good. Of course, we have to do, have to make much, uh, many fundraising and we have to donate a lot to, to Burmese people. So this is my concern and that's why I was very soft to him and I listened to him. He is the president and I am the secretary. This is the other way around. What happened? So I apologize and my weakness, I am very soft. So I would apologize to the community, to everybody and to my... You don't have There's to. nothing wrong you with don't that, have to. It's not it's, your fault. It's not your fault, Max. It's perfect. Well, so he, he already, you know, he sent a letter after our, our gala dinner the next day. That day is going to be a, a, a sort of another election. But actually, he, on that day, he want he want uh, to have an election on that day, and then he want to sack me out on on the private on meeting. the private meeting. That's his plan. But uh, one of our board of director, he is very very honest. He is from Shin community, and he is the one who always stand up beside me. He he told every time the truth, and then he stand for me. And he is very strict uh, doing things under the constitution, our constitution. So he said, uh, is there any, any members? I said, from the very start, we, we plan to have a, 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 a meeting, you know, from the very start in the, uh, one of these, uh, because it is between COVID. So uh, we, we I think we registered for the that uh, Burmese uh, mm -hmm. restaurant to to set up our Burmese welfare associations of the members and the board of directors. But all the board of directors is all done by the catch up meeting all the time. He did it. He always did that with the laptop catch up meeting, catch up meeting. That's it. So and then I okay. So I'm always thinking of Burma, so EWAB is just, uh, we, done, we have done a very, very um, little event. Our, I mean, our launch event, and that's it. So this is what's happening in the Burmese Welfare Association. Then most, mostly uh, we are doing things for Kind Heart. So, but Kind Heart, he did all the committee members, but he is always, Swap. Kind of and one another time BWAB. Kind of and BWAB. He is, you know, mixing up everything. So, so he did the community members, all the kind of foundation operation people, and, and he said these are the community member of BWAB. It is not right. So this is all mix, mixing up things. He did it. So I think he has never had this. Um, organization's um, ethic, and he has never done this uh, working together with the associations and organizations. It, it, this, this is, I can see that very clear that he, he has no experience at all. So, he is very good in IT, he is very good. He wrote to me, email, he wanted to sack me, he wrote to me, and with a very lavishly English, <laughs> but very unprofessional. He thinks that he is professional, but very unprofessional. So that's what happened. And on that private meeting also, I, I cannot, you know, I feel very sick and then what I, I 
I had an anxiety attack and then I just uh, sort of collapsed. So that is all on the video. And, uh, and everything is there, so, well, that's it. So, well, we, so now, he's, he said, kind heart is nothing to do with us. Mm. Kind heart is separate entity, he said. But, which is wrong, we were involved in there, so our names are there, and this is under Australian Taxation Office, and ASIC. So the, we are now monitored by the Australian government. And we have to report to the uh, uh, authorities as well. Because we haven't seen the account. He never want to show the account. He is the secretary, he is not a treasurer. He cannot touch the money. He has to show the transactions. So all the transactions I have signed, <coughs> Because he, the signatory has to be three persons, but he did it only two, him and me. So I am the one who signed a lot of transactions, approved. So I am concerned about it too. So that's why we have to see his transaction openly. He has to be transparent. So this is my concern. So we are taking step by step, step. Because we are Australian. I am Australian. Herbie is Australian. So we have to go by the law of Australian Taxation Office. So we are going to take the next step and we will go to the end. So this is my message. Thank you very much. Give it to you, you can have a read after when we teach it. He's basically saying like, you know, you are doing the president and you don't do anything. You guys are not involved in kind heart. But our names were there for the ABN. Our names were there when we opened the bank account. We were involved in all the fundraising. How can you just turn around and say it's got nothing to do with us? I don't care. I don't want the group. I don't want the title or I don't want the position, I don't give a crap about that. But be honest and be open. When you are treating me, trying to have a, a meeting like an adult, to have a face-to-face, -face, come forward, have a chat. It's not like you are an enemy. They, these two ladies actually brought you into our community. No, actually, it's me. I, sh I should apologize as well because because of that particular person, you were really disturbed, so as you. There were quite a few other people who were involved as well. Because of him, they were not happy about it. Because I was the initial person who actually brought him into our initial um, group that we started with Kosovin. And after our girl Adina with Kosovin in Springville, in 2021, March 27th, they had a meeting and they had an argument and that's how we ended up splitting. But we never had any issue with Kosovo. I don't have an issue with anyone, to be honest. Look, I'm a very straightforward person. If I've done something wrong, hey, I'm sorry. And if I say something wrong, I'm willing to take full responsibility for whatever I've said. But don't keep running around, going around circle, circle, instead of solving like an adult. Or especially for them, being mature adult. Like even I can't think to write in that level, even though I'm being a woman. But through and then I mean, I, I just don't understand. Why can't you just come face to face and talk like adults and solve? And then we don't have to do any of this. We don't have to go to the lawyer. We don't have to get anybody else involved. Why? If you are right, if I'm right, I'm ready to go till the end. I don't give a crap. And people who knows me well knows me how I am. 
You want to say something? Uh, well, I like to add one thing to add. Just Thank you. Um, look, uh, it's thank you. Do you want me to go there? Yeah, okay. please. If you could, that'd be good, right? Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Right, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Look, I was the vice president of BWAB when I quit. And the reason I quit was the one, I think I, it, it is like an authoritarian figure. Whenever I want to contact, I want to contact back on the Facebook and say, so don't contact this week, do contact this week, don't contact. Okay, I will resign. I resign. So he was quite happy. Anyway, but I continue to communicate with Mr. BWA is actually a charity organization. Charity organization has a particular legality. It has to donate the people in need across Victoria not transfer the money to the OSC. That legality has to be, we are under the law, rule of law in Australia. We must follow. That law has to be, we all have to obey. Of course, we want to donate, I want to donate, he want to donate, everybody wants to donate. People across here, we all donate. We are so keen to do it. We are on the same boat. And we desperately is raising money. But however, we are the legality of charity organization. And unfortunately, that has to be very out of control. So I was, I was very concerned. First of all, I want to share about my concern. So there is a sum, not to put too far in white. What is the one? It's unprofessional behavior, lack of transparency. It is my main concern. I'm sure Australian government has closed their one eye and deaf their one ear. If they open it, if they want. I, we all are in trouble what we are doing. So that's why we ask him to be transparent. It is very important. All we ask for is, please, I know you're doing a good job. Please give us an explanation. What explanation you give it to us, we need to know. So we will be very safe. We, we can do it across Victoria, the people in it, and they can do what they like to do. It is our goal, is a donation and getting the money across in a safe way. However, regarding the lack of transparency, it has been my experience that executive decision has been made at time, acted without the notification required by the rule of association. Unilateral decision. Unilateral decision regarding finances have been made <coughs> that have crossed the requirement of the association rules. Some of the decision led to the president and treasurer being cut off on the access of any sort to the association bank account. <coughs> Clearly, the opportunity for accusation of null practice even actual non practices or his. There are very some real questions to be answered about some of the transactions made. However, how are we going to deal with the transaction? I'm very worried. Of course, for I, my name is in the bank account. Transparency is crucial for an association, credibility, and trust. With the treasurer log out of the bank account, clearly they could not function their role. <coughs> Such behavior is very definition of being 
very opaque, not clear. My concerns are very much for First of all, the potential consequences of such action have very serious legal implication, which is true. <clears throat> How are we going to function in the future? Associates' ability to fulfill its mission. And I would like to, once again, to emphasize the importance of unity and trust. It is essential for effective governance. It is clear these disturbances are unacceptable and must be addressed promptly. Accountability is essential. An immediate step must be taken to return to full transparency and adherence to the rules of the association. How are we going to have a trust? How are we going to restore our goal to give the donation, the money, to fight for the revolution, unity? Where we can get this unity? Trust, trust, transparency, and legality. Where we can get it? Shall we go and sit down and negotiate? Sure, I want to do that. No, you want to do that. We want to do that. When you want to do that. David want to do that. James want to do that. How are we going to do that? Get together, transparent, sit down, negotiate, open discussion. That transaction under the Australian law, is that legal? I want you to know because my name is in the bank account. That's right. <laughs> I'm very concerned. That's what I need to have an open discussion with him. Is that agreeable? Please. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So, transparency, accountants, accountability within the association is the part to effective operation and the association of trust and enthusiasm forward for the future for our democratic. We are on the same boat. One start, one goal. Unity, restoration of trust, transparency. To get across the message within the community, please, we have to invite them under the law the sun under the democracy of Australian law, we must be sit down and negotiate. I'm for it. I'm here to negotiate to everyone. So we can get to what we want. How can we get this? Tell me, please. I want him to come around and I want to negotiate. But I don't want to sign the consent form what he Tell me, ask me to do it. So I just want everybody opinion, everybody question. Now raise what you want to do in the future for our community to raise the fund and to donate the fund to achieve our goal, please. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Association of the BWAV has got a provision for disciplinary procedures. Have you considered them? And if so, what are your thoughts? Um, it's a bit complicated because when people don't want to sit down and talk, you can't really do much. Well, my reading of the 
rules is that you can. If they don't show up, you just give them notice and conduct the procedure. And I wonder, you know, what, what your thinking is about uh, how to proceed, because it seems as if there's been clear contravention of the Articles of Association. So, uh, and I guess your lawyers have told you about this, uh, where do you go from here? Right. The actually, our lawyer actually suggests to take it further. But we don't want to do that because it's embarrassing. It, it should, I mean, it shouldn't even be this stage. It should stop right then and there. Mm. When he kicked anyway out of that count, when I request for a meeting, that's when we should have stopped then and there. We should have never gone this far. Well, you could argue if you're proceeding according to the rule of law, which is really how you have to run associations, otherwise they get messy, that once there's a concern, it's a duty to everyone involving also the people who are being called for uh, disciplinary action. It's fair to them to say, look, well, there's been this problem, we've got this procedure, and you, you can proceed in a very sort of professional manner. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if it might be easier for everyone to just follow that and then the other parties will default or not. Clearly, ever since all this issue happened, there was nothing has been followed according to modern rules. Can yeah. I just say something? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Michael, what Michael's saying is correct. The, you know, he wasn't duly elected by the by the members, and you 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 notice that you're holding a special meeting and an agenda to discuss the board and the committee and vote on and remove him from from totally from the organisation because it, you know the, he won't change his spots you know he's going to be trouble all along the main thing is he doesn't want to let go of either group but i understand he doesn't have to let go if he's uh, offended against the rules of association uh, you describe that, give him an opportunity to defend himself and then follow the procedures. And if he's found to have offended, one of the consequences, I can't remember the details, would be that you just uh, remove him from office. Yeah. That, that's simple. Yeah, but that? the board of directors are all sitting on the fence. That's right. That's where the problems start, Michael. Only we have the three committee members is winning me and him. So he is one and two. Well, I guess you have to face that. You know, if, yeah. if the organisation uh, doesn't function, it doesn't function. Dissolve it. Dissolve it. As per his letter, we both has been removed. <laughs> 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 we both have been removed. <laughs> That's really <laughs> sure. Sure. Right. Sure. But, but you haven't been removed. <laughs> it's not law. You know, you need to yeah, write your letter. It's not a law. It's not law. It's not law. It's not law. Yeah. But oh the thing goodness. is, I'm embarrassed to keep going on about it, but he, he doesn't feel embarrassed about it, so I just don't even know what to say. Uh, He's somewhat like me or I. We will we will be taking further um, action in regards to bank account because as you can see that he got way suspended and straight away he put his business So straight away he put his business, right? But if you are doing an ABN account, a charity account, you can't have a husband and wife. It's a common sense. But uh, all I wanted to do is have transparency in the transaction. And if they're just this meeting was for transparency, asking him to have a face-to-face -face meeting and solve the issue up, but he refused. The reason he refuses, he's saying that we've got nothing to do with this group. But as you can see, all the things that I have explained to you and showed you, we were involved from day one. But what he's saying is, we've got nothing to do with this group and you guys are not in it. But we were there for the ABN, we were there for the bank account opening. We were there throughout whatever fundraising we were doing. So I just, I just don't understand. Yeah, but, it, it, uh, I just wanted to but we will definitely be taking further actions in regards to that account. 
Yeah, because they are starting to behave like instead of a community account, it's becoming a personal account. Yeah. Yes. And that is absolutely unacceptable. That's, I, 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 I don't even know what sorry. I, I want to get out like, from the account, that's all. That for me, it's my. Yeah. My, and then we will say, well, you can. Number no, one, he took way out of account without any discussion. And then doing all these things behind our back. Where is our trust for him? So why shouldn't we be questioning him about the account? Let alone, okay, fair enough, we were in the ABN. We have the right to question. But, for example, if James wants to question about this account, he has full responsibility to explain it to you, James, because it's a community account. It's not his personal account. Am I right? Absolutely. Mm. ตัวอ่ะเปลี่ยวเปลี่ยวขึ้นตัวเปลี่ยวเปลี่ยวขึ้นตัวเปลี่ยวเปลี่ยวขึ้นตัวเปลี่ยวเปลี่ยวขึ
the fee and set the fee and convert to the fee. This is not a program where they being attacked by the other person. Mm. Let's the person attacking. How do you know that? I'm not attacked by like that. Attack like that, but not interact in that manner with your you're not a daddy or to my sheet of number, a young lady, and what you are the world of a piece of your honor. You're all with the two kind of tomorrow English with Kaylin. Do my tail and you got with Don Adi or the road of Mamma from Nikaya, eh? Her mother. That will come on the house, you know, my job, your yame, your nayame. You know that's not right, and you need to stand up for the right. So, how are we going to stand up for the right? How are we going to uphold that here? So, yes, a jelly, your lady, a ticket tapo, your lady, none of the people are cool. เยอะเยอะไปดูแล้วมันเป็นเซชั่นเนี่ยเราอยากเราดูมีอาชีพเราเจอเจ้าบ้านเซชั่นเนี่ยไปดูแล้วมันเป็นเซชั่นเนี่
Any more questions or feedback or how we should proceed? ตัวเมสวินดีอ่ะพวกบาวิสวอลเวอร์ฟาวเดชั่นอ่ะดีตอไวซ่าเตะบาอ่าจนอ่ะจนอ่ะเนสไซมันเนี่ยจนอ่
Before we actually finalise the meeting, we just want to um, we just want to conclude the meeting. So, the, um, in terms of the resolution, we just want some sort of feedback from everybody. Uh, we want from everyone. I know some people have written down, some people didn't ask questions, but this is collective process. We really want everyone some sort of input from everybody. Okay. So, um, we just start from say, Mape, What what do you think of it? What what do you think we should? How we should conclude? This. I think we should send someone representing this community face to face with that person because since he's not coming here and that person, whoever understands how to talk and all, and he can go and talk to him. But make sure it's recorded. So what you're saying is we should at least yeah, have some sort of mediator yeah, to go and see this gentleman, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what do you think of it? Do you think, is that sound reasonable? If he is a person, but yeah. maybe they should go in a couple of people so yeah. that person will not have to do it. Okay. All right, um, are we, what do you think we should, what, to, just to conclude this whole thing? Yeah, but we have tried it so many times. Okay, but we, we are here for the last, say, one and a half hours. We somehow need to conclude this. Do we just want to make this meeting quite effective? So how are we going to, what do you think should happen? So we, at least, I've been, everything's been documented on my video so that we can take it on the next, next level, yeah? Amar, Amar, what do you think we should do? Mark, Mark, Good, all right. Now, in it's very briefly, but what do you think we should, well, just to finalise everything, what do you think we should do? The meeting ma tano roa tanai gueshi ga mili. So nima e nima the recommendation of Papi Tele. Just, just, just in a very briefly. Yeah. Yeah, Papi Tele is a legal action you think eh? Okay. Na kuta ra di lomio concerning kisi de person a group which ma ro remove thing eh? Sepiro chile ni se ma 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 ro tanya ni jar ni chile. So the legal action the best solution ni ma ni chile. Okay. So ma we ala something you need you eh? Yes. We need to have to take on board, yes. okay? It's pretty yes. important. So, okay, uh, what do you think we should, we should do, man? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mum Yun Day. Or Di Yumali Yao, Bab Yodin James. Just a couple of words. Recommendation, Bono. Gunar Biawara, she just just to recap everything, Bono. Okay. Okay. Resolution process at Taiwan. Okay. Resolution process at Taiwan. ดังดังนั้นไม่ใหญ่เลยจนเราดีเกตเอ็กชั่นเบชีเดียวเอ็กชั่นเบชีเราดีลีเกตเอ็กชั่นเราเจอเลยใช่ไหมพี่ตระห
Okay. In other words, go to the rules as your yep. first response. Fair enough. Yep. Amal, anything you might? Mediator. Mediator, yes. You so, can, if the mediator can, looking into this, become okay. talk to us transparent. So what when you say you mediator, we oh, it's just something that you have to take, take on a board. Mm -hmm. So we Anyone get who can yeah, talk. talk to him. But I think he got over this mediation. I'm sure about it. Okay. What Michael said maybe the way to go. Yep. What do you What do you suggest? Anything? Well, it thinks everyone is willing to give him a second chance, so we can give him a second chance and get him to come forward and have a final face-to-face -face meeting and negotiate, be transparent, explain everything, explain exactly like what Andy Sohin said, how he could just uh, execute a lot of things on his own without having a board meeting. That's good. Uh, that's the final chance. Again, if he doesn't follow that, legal action. There's nothing else we can That's do. That's right. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you. David, uh, do you want to suggest anything, mate? At least some sort of a feedback or recommendation. Just in a couple of words, mate. Well, I agree with, with Michael and Giselle. You know, I think it's very simple. You stop it and then start again. That's good. Do whatever you got to do to stop it. As fast, yeah. as, fast as you can. And then start again. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Stop, stop, stop the... the um, uh, stop, stop him yep. controlling okay. things. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. That's how you do that. Legally, how do you do that? Okay. What a board we like on? Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. You want me? Do you want to suggest anything? At least? Okay. Um, come on. Um, anything, mate? Do you want to suggest? Anything? Um, Recommendation. Come forward a bit, mate, so we can hear you. Yeah, um, oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. May I, please? Oh, my, the same with Rosa and Socket Okay. That's fantastic. Right. Peter, please, it's very important, right? Yes, I, I know. Michael and David, I agree with you that it's the association rules which are broken and that needs to be the avenue that you go down. This guy, I don't think he can negotiate with, he's proven himself to be <coughs> not negotiable and he wants to run his own race. So you need to do it by the law association rules and get rid of him. Okay, thank you, Peter. Start again. Yeah. Yeah, this gentleman on the side. Excuse me, cool. Hello? Good luck. Good luck. Cool. 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 Any recommendation? Do you have anything, mate? Cool. What's, what's your feedback or recommendation? Do you have anything? Thank you, cool. Cheers, my dear buddy. Cheers, my dear Thanks very much, guys. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you very much.